What's up, guys? I'm Sean Ryan with Vigilance Elite. Hey, we're here at uh, Wex Gunworks, and <clears throat> uh, we're here to talk about something pretty serious. Um, we are here with John Owens, uh, former Navy SEAL, uh, one of my best friends in the whole world. Um, how many deployments have we done together, dude? Like a lot, a fuck ton. Um, Charles Scott, uh, Army Ranger, uh, also with the Vigilance Elite, and um, we've done some pretty interesting deployments together. And then um, Brandon uh, Wexler from, from Wex Gunworks. Um, John start, John's brother, uh, Ryan Owens, was the uh, first Navy SEAL um, Team 6 operator to uh, pass away in 2017. And um, John has started a nonprofit uh, in honor of his brother, uh, called the Naked Warrior Project, and he is going to <clears throat> build memorials, um, starting with uh, Ryan, uh, all across the country, um, to honor the fallen. There's a lot of nonprofits out there. They're all um, donating money to the families and that's great but I think this one's very unique and I think it's very needed um, because there isn't a whole lot of nonprofits that actually go you know to to the operators right um, that did you know sacrifice at all right. so right. you know I, and that and and that's what I'm trying to do is uh, every time you know whether it's you know, SEALs, Rangers, you know, we're looking at right now, there's been a lot of um, attention on the Green Beret situation in Niger. But no matter what goes on with these guys, w what ends up inevitably happening every single time is that these guys become political pawns. And the story becomes uh, whoever the president is and how, the, how they interact with and how they can benefit somebody through politics. And, um, you know, uh, that's the main reason I started the Naked Warrior Project is that is that Ryan, I was getting the Google alerts and I was seeing two, three stories or when it first happened, 25 stories a week using my brother's name and, and, and no one was even talking about him. It was just talking about, uh, it, it was very clear to me he was being used for someone else's political capital. No one talked about his story. No one talked about, no one showed his pictures and, and except, you know, how it would benefit the candidate or the journalist that was writing the story. Um, I, I probably had a hundred different journalists come to me, want to write a story. I said, well, let me see the story because the stories are always written already. It's not about Ryan. They don't want to make it about the individual. They want to make it about what their story is and what their political point of view is or however they can benefit themselves. So I started the Naked Word Project because I want to put out information. For me, I want to put out who my brother was, and it's really hard, it's very, very hard to share. That's not what we do. Um, I don't really share about myself, but I have no problem sharing about my brother Ryan because his story, I think, is very important for this country, and it's important for his kids. His kids are gonna Google their dad, and they're gonna see Trump's failed mission, right? And that is, that's bullshit, it's wrong. So, um, started the company, to memorialize my brother through this event, going to Ryan Owens Memorial Run this weekend, uh, November 4th in Deerfield Beach. Um, you can look that up, nakedwarriorproject.org. So we're memorializing him through a run, through a dinner, and the eventual goal is to build a memorial, an actual statue to him um, that we placed here in South Florida. And if we keep the company going, or, or if however the company develops, we'll see. But if it keeps going, we'll do that for all Special Operations Command. Anybody that wants it, that is. Um, so if somebody wants our services or is looking for uh, to do something like that, I mean that is that's what we're all about. We're a nonprofit, 501c3 pending, uh, but be no problem. It's just a matter of time, and um, every single dime goes to memorializing the soldier or sailor, and that's or a marine, whatever it is. So that's what we're about. And thanks uh, to Sean and Brandon. Uh, these guys are, are top sponsors for us, and they've been supporting us the whole time, and uh, couldn't do it without you. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, you know, all four of us sitting right here um, either had or are in a job that uh, 
is very unforgiving. And um, I'm pretty confident when I can say, you know, I think we've all uh, experienced some losses. And I mean, uh, what you're doing is like, it's fucking solid, man. It's Thank awesome. You. So, um, I mean, how can we donate? Yeah. Uh, go to the nakedwordproject.org and click donate. And uh, it'll, yep, it'll be there for you. And it'd be very appreciated by myself and, and the other veterans here. And I think just about any other veteran out there um, will appreciate it. Helping the men themselves, not, not just, uh, it, it's, it's helping the, the man, right? Because the man or the woman who's the veteran, uh, they're, not, they're not here. And uh, they, don't get, they don't get taken care of it, from what I've seen. And I've, I've lost, how many friends have we lost, guys? I mean, I've lost almost every single friend I've got that's been in the military, uh, that was in the SEAL teams. Really, unless they moved on to something else in the military, uh, they're dead. And that's, and that's sad, but that's very true. And we have a lot of experience in this, and it's never hit quite home like it did with me with my brother. But uh, it, every single one's hard, and um, that's what we're here for, you know. So. Well, cheers to Ryan. 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 Long live the brotherhood. Long live the brotherhood. Have some friends.